Well, uh, to be honest, I don't have much faith in the politicians because they have let us down before. So, but I, I hope if they do deliver it, it will be a good thing, to be honest, for, for other businesses to survive. I don't believe him at times because I think he tells lies. But I think people who can't go to work and they've got to stay in the houses should be paid. I'm a bit sceptical, I guess. Um it's a good idea in principle. I'm a nurse and yeah, we need more money in the NHS and obviously it's all about coronavirus at the moment, but uh, I'm sceptical as to what will happen in reality. Well, they always uh, don't deliver what they promise, is it? They lie to us before they come into power, when they're in power. We never see it happening. I mean, um, I think they probably will this time around. I mean, they've got a majority in there, Boris has. I think if he sticks to his word, he'll probably get it through. I don't really think it's going to help businesses a huge amount. Um, you know, people are being faced with business almost stopping if people are staying at home and not coming to work and, and all that. So I think the, the biggest impact on businesses is going to be more to do with cash flow. Uh, they're going to be bigger, bigger problems than borrowing money and interest rates that they're paying on things which are, are historically low anyway. The only thing is, it's my age. I'm 84. So as you get older, it, it tells difference than young teenagers, doesn't it? So that's the only problem. I'm not too really bothered about it. I mean, I've come to Liverpool. <laughs> I think um, what they're doing is quite good because they're trying to make people aware that they're in control and yet they're not hyping it up too much, scaring people, because I don't think it's something that people should be really frightened of and it's just about hand washing, which we should all be doing all the time.